Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. We picked up a few too many spoils. I'll go on ahead. Must have cracked more skulls than I thought.
You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollow-born child? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Radric has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Go on. 
Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fie, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cock's feather! I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. Not quite how I hoped to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that. Awkward suggestion. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Well, I'm a wizard by training. And an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? In Gwythen Ruins? Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm... You do manage to find yourself in rather interesting predicaments. An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the Magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Excellent. I shall follow you. Good day, stranger.
Good day to you. Hi? Aisha? Yes? Just say the word. Good day, stranger. I'm on it. Just say the word. Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, it is both, I think. Yes? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. No, I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy even. To not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I. Wherever here may be. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. 
What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, though. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on. Some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul, but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Cold them. Those days are all behind me, no? Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again, but less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No, no. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, but I came here all the same because this was where help was needed. Such a question, as though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance, a humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife, see why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months, looked high and low for impurities, tested her balance, the permeability of her essence. 
Do you know what I found? Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are... But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met. Empty inside. It was an animancer who helped one find the other. Turn their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things, but their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. Of course, dear. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Seventeen and a half. Well, it could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you oughta. The people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be nineteen. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radrick at first. Careful, friend. Best not use that word round here. Could be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks round here, Radrick especially. They come through these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. 
My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. Blew him up. Take the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there, that was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethus isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethys. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. After the war, people took to punishing Aethys worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother... That he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Seem to remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say Watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that? There'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. But, truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. All right, then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. Long as you're not the one picking the sights. <laughs> 